Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we have tried to understand the concept of NCAP solution, wherein we have understood if you make the data member instance variable private, outside the class directly, you cannot access this variable. If you want to assign the value, then after creating the object, after creating the instance of a class, then using the reference, we have to call a method and we have to assign a method which is responsible to take the data and assign to the data member instance variable of a class we call it as setter so through the setter you can assign the value and if you want to get that value you want to use the value which is there in that variable then you have to use the concept of getters that is what we have understood now the requirement is when we create the instance at that moment itself i want to assign the data whatever data i want to assign to this member of a class which is the most crucial part we have to assign at the time of object creation, at the time of instantiation, instantiation, object creation, both of them are same. Object of a class, instance of a class, both of them are referring to same. So at the time of object creation itself, I want to assign value to this data member. That's where the concept of constructor comes into picture. It is kind of a specialized setter whose name is same that of a class name and does not have any explicit return type and the most important return type and the most important part here is that it gets invoked at the time of object creation what do you mean by that that is what we need to understand in this video so how do we create constructor it is same as that of the class name whatever is the name of a class that is what you have to give here and i want to receive some data i would like to say integer type of age and after which i would like to say here whatever is there inside this age variable i would like to assign to the age variable which is associated with object that is this dot age what is this keyword in the last video of encapsulation we have tried to understand there is no explicit return type here no void no int no explicit return type directly the class name and whatever you can write with respect to the methods parameters you can write here also and the body fine so this is only called as constructor the most important part constructor gets invoked at the time of object creation now i don't want to assign the value by calling the setter i want to assign the value at the time of object creation here itself i would like to assign the value 80 during the object creation constructor gets invoked and this is actually a call to a constructor so far we have created object many times but we have never discussed the concept of constructor now it's time to understand what exactly this is this is a call to a constructor so do we have a constructor in our class yes do we have we do have see the name is same that of the class name it does not have any explicit return type and we are accepting some data in this a type of data which i am passing here 18 i'm passing here fine and it gets invoked when you create the object. During the object creation, it is getting invoked. If I have to run this application, let me run this application. You can see we are getting the data as 18. The age is 18 here. Making sense? Now, if we have one more data member here, can we have? Of course, we can have. I will say here private, private string type of name. No problem. You can have it. And here itself, if you want, you can accept. Maybe I'll say here string type of name great let me add here string type of name and within this i will say this dot name name equals to name this dot name equals to name let me just add that here you can see i have added now at the time of object creation the second parameter also i have to pass which is maybe any name you want you can give i would like to give it as rohan great i would like to save this and i will call the getter there is no getter for this row how will i know that there is a name also available here okay for which what i'm going to do here is i will go and create one more getter it is string type of getter i'll say here get name get name and within this i will say here return whatever name we have inside this right so whatever data we have inside this variable called as name i would like to also print here maybe i would like to give some space in between and after giving some space, I would like to just call that student one dot get name, right? I would like to just run this application. Let me save and run this application. You can see we are getting 18 and Rohan. That means if you go with the concept of constructor, you can initialize the value to the data members of a class during the object creation itself. If you have a requirement that 
I want to initialize the value. I want to give the data to my instance variable of the class, data members of my class. During the object, the moment object gets created, then you have to initialize, you have to set the value at the time of object creation itself. Constructor gets called at the time of object creation. I hope you are able to understand this. And one more very, very important point that let me just comment this up. I would like to comment this here. It is not included now. I would like to comment this also. We have created the instance so many times. Let me just create here. And uh, this is how we create the instance. And what did I just say that this is a call to a constructor. Like this we have created instance so many times. But we have never got an error. Example, if I don't have any method, do we have any display method inside the student one class? You can please see here. Do we have any display method? No, we don't have any display method here. So what I'm going to do here is I will say st one dot display. We are getting one compile time error here. Compile is trying to say what is the display? The method display is undefined. It's not available in the student class. If there is no method, how can you invoke that method? If there is no method available, you cannot invoke. That is what it is trying to say here. I hope you are able to understand this. Now, if there is no method, I cannot invoke. However, if this is a call to a constructor, now look at the program. Do we have any constructor here? This is commented. Do we have any constructor which is not accepting any parameters with a zero parameters? No. If this is a call to a constructor and as a developer, I have not written, I have not hard coded, I have not included any constructor in my class, then I am not getting any error. Why am I not getting any error here? Because whenever you invoke a constructor and if Java developer has not included any constructor in your class, then by default behind the scene, JVM will include one default constructor. Same name that of the class name, and it does not have any explicit return type. It will be included behind the scene. I am right now hard coding it. Even if you don't hard code, this is a part of your code. So whenever there is a call to a constructor and Java developer has not included any constructor. In that case, JVM would include, I mean the Java developer has not included any constructor in that case. By default, behind the scene, Java compiler would include one default constructor, which is of zero parameters, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I would like to just uncomment this part. Let me just comment this. I would like to uncomment this part. Fine. Now there is a call to a constructor. As a developer, did I include anything? This is commented. Commented means you can consider it is not a part of your program. That's the meaning of it. Now, do we have any constructor here? No. I'm calling a constructor. There is no constructor, but I'm getting error this time. Just now, what did I say? Whenever there is a call to a constructor and Java developer has not hard coded any constructor, then Java compiler would include one default constructor is what I have told. Correct. Now there is a call to a constructor and Java developer has not included any constructor here. Then Java compiler should include one default constructor, right? Yes, Java compiler would include a default constructor, but that default constructor would be always a zero parameters. Right now, I am invoking such a constructor which is accepting two parameters. I am passing two arguments here. One integer type of argument, one string type of argument. Argument refers to data. I am passing two data here, one integer of type and one string type here. So for that, Java compiler will not include. Whenever there is a call to a constructor, Java compiler will include a constructor if developer has not specified, if developer has not hard coded, but that constructor which will be included automatically by Java compiler, which is also called as default constructor is always a zero parameterize. But this time you are making call to a parameterize constructor, then Java compiler would not include any constructor in that case. As a developer, you have to hard code the constructor. Just to conclude what I have said, whenever there is a call to a constructor and suppose if Java developer has not included any constructor, in that case, Java compiler would include a default constructor in your program behind the scene, which will be of zero parameters. That is the reason whenever we created the instance without passing any data, 
we never got the error because for this zero parameter is constructor used to get included in your Java code. However, this time I am invoking such a constructor which is expecting us to pass some data which is expecting us to receive some data which we are passing. We are passing two arguments here. In that case, it is expecting parameterized constructor. Such a constructor which is receiving two data. So in that case, Java compiler would automatically will not include. Java compiler will include only zero parameters, not the parameters. You have to hard code this. Great. Now one more point you have to understand here. After this, I'll create uh, one more. I'll create one more object. I'll say student one is a class name. Type est2 equals to new student. New student. Now this time, it is a zero parameterized constructor. Still I am getting an error here. What did I just say? If there is a call to a zero parameterized constructor, Java compiler would include that constructor, which is a default constructor. For parameterized, it will not include. As a developer, we have to hard code. I have hard coded it. That's great. But right now it is zero parameters. Now why are we getting an error? You need to understand one more important point here. Java compiler would include this zero default constructor. If and only if in your entire class, if there is no constructor at all. Suppose this constructor Java and the developer has not hard coded. And in the entire class, if there is no constructor at all. At that time, Java compiler would include a zero parameterized constructor, which is a default constructor. However, in the entire class, if there is one constructor also present right now, developer has hard coded one constructor. In that case, Java compiler will think that this developer is aware of the concept of constructor and automatically default constructor will not be included. Usually default constructor will be included if and only if there is no constructor at all in the entire class. That is if Java developer has not included any constructor at all. But right now as a developer, I have hard coded one constructor. That means in this case, Java compiler would not include any default constructor here. It will not be included. That is the reason. I'm getting one error here. He is Java compiler is like, oh, this developer is aware of the concept of constructor. So why will I have to include? So there will be no default constructor included. I have to uncomment this. Then the error will be gone. You can see here. So basically, if there is a call to a constructor, Java compiler would include one default constructor. If and only if there is no constructor in the entire class, if there is no constructor at all, but if Java developer has coded any constructor, whether one parameter, two parameters, three parameters, any one constructor is already available, then Java compiler will not include any default constructor also. You have to hard code. And one more point you have to understand. What is that? Everything in uh, one shot we are trying to understand here. I hope you know the concept of Java which we have covered so far. Only then you can understand. And also I hope you are watching with complete focus here. Writing multiple methods with same name and different parameters is called as method overloading. And that is what we have understood in the concept of method overloading. And if you don't know, please do watch that. There is a concept of constructor overloading also. Writing multiple constructors within a same class with different parameters is called as constructor overloading. Right now we have one constructor here. We have one more constructor. I know there is no data I am receiving. I will hard code manually any data here. 18. And I will say here name equals to uh, maybe any name of your own choice. Maybe I will give it as root. Any, and some activities there inside this constructor, whatever you want, you can write. I'm just writing this. Fine. So writing multiple constructors with the different parameters. Constructor means anyway, the name will be same because constructor name is same as that of the class name. So name will be anyway same with different, different par parameters. So multiple constructors within a class with different parameters is called as constructor overloading. And one last point which you need to understand. In any constructor, whether as a developer you have hard coded or behind the scene Java compiler has included automatically, irrespective of the case, the very first statement of your constructor, whether you write or you don't write, there will be super method call. Right now I have hard coded here. In the second constructor, did I hard code anything here? 
नो आई हैव नॉट हार्ड कोडेड इवन इफ यू हैव नॉट हार्ड कोडेड बिहाइंड द सीन सुपर मेथड इज इंक्लूडेड वेदर यू राइट और यू डोंट राइट दैट मीन्स यर आई डोंट हैव एनी सुपर मेथड बट बिहाइंड द सीन सुपर मेथड इज देयर whether you write or you don't write the first statement of your constructor is always super method call but what is the use of super method call super method call is used to call parent class constructor what is parent class what is child class we have not yet seen after this we need to understand jvm architecture static keyword and then we need to start the concept of inheritance once you understand the concept of inheritance parent child only then you can understand the concept of super method right now super method will be available if i write also if you don't write also but what is the duty of this i have told it will call parent class constructor but we have not yet discussed what is parent class what is child class for now i'll keep it in the parking i'll discuss that in the going forward after the inheritance constructor execution in case of inheritance it will call parent class constructor but in one case in one case super method will not be present what is that one case if you ask me if you have a this method call if you have a this method call so if this method is present then super method will not be there and for this method to be present you have to hard code it now what happens is i am creating the object of student by calling a parameterized constructor so from here control would come to this parameterized constructor great control would definitely come here now the very first statement is this method call this method is to call the constructor of a same class and do we have one more constructor in the same class which is accepting zero parameters yes once control comes here from here control would go back to the zero parameterized constructor of a same class because i am not passing any argument here so it will call constructor of a same class which is having zero parameter so this will be called this will be executed after executing this the remaining part of this constructor will be executed so the use of this method is to call constructor of a same class example if i don't write anything here then by default you should be knowing it super method is there great which will call the parent class constructor that is fine now i am calling i am calling you can see here a zero parameterized constructor from here control would go to the zero parameterized constructor if super method is there it will call parent class constructor what is parent we will discuss suppose if this method is there and i will pass some argument here i will pass here maybe 12 i'll pass here uh, maybe any age maybe 15 i'll pass here and i will give it as uh, ramesh for an instance then this method means it will call the constructor of a same class in the same class do we have a constructor which is accepting one integer and one string value yes from here control would come here and this will be executed suppose if i write this only this it is an error because it is recursion right in the same class do we have a constructor which is accepting zero parameters yes this is a constructor so from here it will call this constructor again again the first line it will call the constructor again because zero parameters this method is used to call the constructor of a same class in the same class do we have a constructor which is accepting zero parameters the answer is yes so it will call the same so so that is the reason because of the recursion this compiler is not allowing recursive constructor invocation because it will call constructor of a same class which is zero parameters so here only it will just you know do the recursion to avoid that recursion to avoid that recursive call it will not allow but if i pass here maybe 16 and i will pass here maybe whatever you want to give rohan for an instance any string type of data so it will call constructor of a same class which is accepting one integer one string from here control would come to this after executing this the remaining part will be executed so in every constructor in the first statement super method will be there which will call parent class constructor but if this method is present super method will not be there and what is the duty of this method it will call constructor of a same class i hope you are able to understand just to conclude constructor referred same name as that of this it is like a kind of specialized setter whose name is same that of the class name it does not have any explicit return type and it is invoked the most important part it is invoked when we create the object another important key points throughout this video we have tried to understand i hope you could able to watch this video with complete focus those who have watched the previous videos and watched this video with complete focus i hope you have understood everything about the 
constructor fine so thank you so much for joining me in this video you can follow me on my instagram you can find the id you can connect me on my linkedin and make sure to like the video subscribe the channel and share with your friends thank you so much for joining me in this video